Hello, welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. My name is Z. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel as well. So I'm doing another cancer read, y'all, because the last reading I did, it was supposed to be for like a general read for September, but it turned into a whole twin flame. <laughs> Love reading, so like, what in the world? Um, so I'm back today to see what else would come up here for cancers because I know that last reading was not going to be for everyone but that's one it that's what wanted to come through if you're new to this channel or just discovering this channel um, from watching this reading then you can check out my other channel which is for all it's for cancers so it's called cancer goddess tarot and there is actually some new readings up there as well so you can check that out so let's see what's going on here with cancers. Let's ask for some new clear messages here. What messages do you have for cancer for September? What messages do you have for cancer for September? Okay. Ooh, high priestess showed up here first. So we got the high priestess that showed up here. Hopefully my lighting is not too bad. I like doing my uh, readings like in the sunlight. I don't know why. I just like the whole vibe of it. But it does say meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and gifts and trust the wisdom that you receive. So you guys are definitely receiving some um, wisdom here. Some information in your dreams. Or it's like your intuition here, Cancer. It could definitely be telling you about some some changes, some big life changes here that's going to be occurring for you. But also, too, you guys are definitely going through a lot of change here, transformation. And you're definitely, um, like, super tapped into your intuition. What message do you have for Cancer for September? What messages you have for cancer? Okay. Ooh. Something's coming in here. You guys, this is definitely like a really good shift here. Some good energy that's showing up for you guys. And it does look like for some of you guys, something's coming in here as to where it's going to be like a wish come true. Here it says your dreams become reality. A magical time of life. Good fortune, faith in the universe that all will be well here. Also, too, I feel with the high priestess, like divine timing, that you guys are going to be um, changing. Like some um, really big life changes here happening. It's like all in divine timing, basically. But I do feel like you guys have been like receiving information here or like wisdom from your your intuition. Like your intuition could definitely be like really, really popping um, around this time. Yeah, some unexpected events here. Some rapid changes are definitely occurring. Some of you guys could definitely be like, it's almost like if you're like bored in your life, like all of a sudden, like you could meet someone and it's like y'all go on some type of trip. It's like very adventurous. That's what it feels like. Like things just happening unexpectedly here. What message do you have for cancer for September? What message do you have for Cancer for September? Hmm, we got the Seven of Wands that showed up here. So with this one, it does say stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence, challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely here. With this right here, it does look like if you have been like... um. I feel like there's like an energy that's coming towards you, right? For some of you guys, it's almost as if like you could definitely be like blocking this energy. That's what it seems like. For some of you guys, someone's going to be coming in here to help you. I feel like it could be about work for someone. That's what I just picked up like intuitively. It's almost like someone here going through some type of challenge here that's showing up. And I feel like this is um, definitely cancer the energy since it's like cancer, a cancer read. But I don't feel like no other energy right now. But I just feel like it's like an energy or something coming towards you as to where it's going to help you like overcome this challenge or something. Some of you guys could definitely be kind of like having challenges with work. Um, also, too, this could be like health problems. But I feel like the work is causing some type of health problems. Um, like you could be stressed out or just tired. It's almost like you could be like burnt out, honestly. And you don't even realize it. Some of you guys don't realize it. And some of you guys do realize it. What message do you have for cancer? For September? 
Ace of Swords. Some of you guys definitely could have some type of communication come in here. Also, I, I see like a situation here with the child. Oh, it's like a visitation. But we got Ace of Swords that showed up here. Some of you guys could definitely have some type of breakthrough here. But it just seems like a, another energy showing up here as to where someone wants to help. This could also be, now this could be someone like a, someone that you know here. Um, but it does say with the Six of Cups, of course, it's like the return of people or romances from your past. Romanticizing how things used to be. It's like someone could definitely be coming towards you. It seems like it's a past energy. But I'm not really picking up anything romantic, so I'm not really sure what that's about. It's just like, it could be someone that you worked with in the past, honestly. A little balance showed up here. And this is the same angel that's, that was in the Six of Cups um, card. I didn't show it, but like, this is literally the same angel. Yeah, some of you guys definitely have someone watching you. But it's almost like, it could definitely seem like an admiration type of thing too, but then it's, it seems like it could turn romantic. If that makes sense but it does say blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary successful compromise the power of diversity self-control patience and balance here so yeah cancer um i think i had mentioned this too i'm not really sure if it was on my main the, um the other channel cancer got a tarot or this one it was like a read i did for cancer like recently where it's like things are going to be put into balance because right now someone could definitely be like off balance Oh, look, Ace of Cups. So, y'all, I swear I was not trying to do a love reading, but this is what be coming out. Ace of Cups showed up here. Some of y'all are in this, like, Queen of Wands type of energy here. Like, whatever you do for work or career, like, it's either King or King of Wands. Take it how it resonates. But, like, you're, like, super talented but independent, too. Like, you stand up for yourself and your beliefs. I do feel like someone in your energy... Are surrounding you is finding that like very very attractive um this could also be like inspiring to them as well but you guys definitely need balance in your career and personal life right now what message do you see after cancer for september yeah the two of cups showed up here y'all i swear i'll be trying to do like a regular reading I swear I do but two of cups this looks like it could definitely be um now this could be a soulmate connection for someone here but it does look like can't think I'll be falling in love with someone that's what it looked like and I don't know what this is about but like this other person could definitely be like intuitive too like it's like two people with intuitive gifts coming together and then it feels romantic. Some of y'all should definitely be like moving in with a person too. Because um, this house, I never noticed this on this card. But like this house in the background between these people is the same card that was the same house that was in the Six of Cups. Yeah, I'm about to show y'all. It's the same house and it's like an angel. That house right there is the same house. Yep. Some of y'all could be moving in with someone here. Or it's like whoever this is in your energy with this, um, the two of cups, it's like they could be visiting your home. Some of y'all, it's like maybe your home life is off balance. Yeah, look, the ten of wands wanting to pop out here. You guys could definitely be burned out with this ten of wands that keeps wanting to pop out. And it does look like maybe you haven't really been having fun or not really having a good time. It does look like a really good time here in regards to like someone kind of like not working as much and just finding that balance to where um, you actually have like a personal life. I could definitely resonate with that. It's like maybe you don't really have like a social life. Give me one more here for cancer. Yeah, release. So we got release that showed up here. It does say any that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations are people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation here. What if this connection here is like definitely um it's gonna transform you like spiritually. Oh, ooh, ooh, I just got something y'all intuitively. Oh my god. So <laughs> whoever this person is that you like reuniting with, it could definitely be a past life soulmate. They're gonna um it's like 
by you by this person like being in your energy or something i'm not really sure what it's about but like it's going to help your intuitive gifts like heighten if that makes sense but i didn't sound like a i feel like this could definitely be like a part two to the reading that i did before i think yeah it's the reading i did on this channel it literally turned into like a whole slim flame reading yeah, this page of cups wanting to pop out. Y'all definitely have somebody coming in. Page of cups, knight of cups that showed up here too. See, someone's like a, it's like a secret admirer type of thing. That's what it seems like. And look, it says heightened psychic abilities. This person, are you, I feel like it could go both ways. It's like when y'all get together, y'all. The psychic abilities is going to be heightened like on 100. <laughs> tell me about this eight of wands here uh -uh. tell me about this eight of wands here for cancer so we got the strength card that showed up here you guys have definitely been being patient here and i do feel like maybe there was some type of delay that was showing up here as well but um it does show where some communication is coming in and i do feel like this could involve forgiveness here for someone but someone's going to be um asserting themselves it could definitely be a fire sign y'all i see leo here or sagittarius because it's like fire energy showing up in cancer read look ten of pentacles it's like this is where you guys are headed your ten of pentacles here there it does look like whatever this connection is um it's like you guys are going to be planning for the long term it's like an opportunity here for you to move forward Cause some of y'all have definitely been waiting for your ships to come in here as well but i do see like financial security um for yourself and your family here with this ten of pentacles showing up here and it's going to be like peace and contentment like in the home life too look six of wands showed up here so it's like you guys have a victory showing up here and it's like you're going to get exactly what you want here it says dreams come true positive changes that bring an end to challenging times so this it shows where it's, it's going to be an end to someone being like stressed out you could be working too hard too many hours it's causing health problems you could not even know it Tell me about the six of wands here. The world for us, the words. So for some of you guys, you could definitely be, um, I do feel like with this, cause it's four of swords that mentions something about mental exhaustion. For some of you guys, you could definitely be needing to like meditate here. But I feel like it's more so like worry. Like you just like easing your mind, finding a peace of mind here as well. But we have the world card that showed up here. So it does look like there's going to be a new cycle here showing up here. And also too, it says spiritual enlightenment here as well. This is like a, like a powerful life-changing connection that someone's going to be in. But it's going to like heighten your, your intuitive gifts. Tell me about this um, two of cups. Yeah, look, the six of cups showed up here. Some of you guys are going to be like rebuilding with someone new, but it does show where this could be like a past life soulmate or like a past life connection. Because I know most of y'all do not want to get back with anyone that you have from the past, but this is the, what's showing up here. But it's something significant here about a house or a home. Because this home, it, the house literally looks the same. It's the same house. But it's like two people um, that could have possibly been together like in a past life or in the past coming back together. It's like they're grown. If that makes sense, like the way it's showing up here. Tell me about this page of cups here for cancer. Oh, yeah. Whoever this is, it's like... It's almost as if it could be like a secret admirer type of thing. It does look like they could be um, procrastinating here, overanalyzing here. Maybe they do need options here to move forward. So it looks like someone's going to make a choice here to move forward towards like possibly reconciliation or like coming in. 
but I do see where it's going to be communication. Let me get more info. Oh, actually, let's just go ahead and get straight to the point. I'm going to use my Daily Vibes Oracle deck to see what comes up here for this Eight of Wands because it looks like some type of message here. Clarify this Eight of Wands. Yeah, refresh. Some of you guys are getting like a restart. Clarify this Eight of Wands. High vibes. So it's letting you know that it's good energy coming towards you. This card has showed up in one of the uh, recent Cancer Reads that I did, but I didn't show the card refresh. So for um, the way I made it, it's almost like a restart. Some of you guys could definitely be seeing like angel numbers. Um, it's like the divine here is definitely speaking to you about what's coming in. Clarify this Eight of Wands. It's almost like you already know cancer, what's going on. Like your intuition is like on 100 right now. Clarify the eight of wands. Clarify the eight of wands here. I'm trying to get. Clarify this eight of wands here for cancer. Yeah, so we got ask, believe, receive here. Some of you guys have definitely been um, asking here for something new, some new energy here. But new cycle showed up here at the bottom of the deck. So it's like you're about to start something new. Yeah, approved. Whatever, it's, it does like some hidden information. It's like some information has been hidden from you, can't. So like something you can't see. You can't quite see what's um, coming in here. You can feel it. And maybe you've been getting like clues and hints in your dreams. But we got approved. It's letting you know that this is like some good energy approved by the universe. A good opportunity. Um... It does look like something could happen here unexpectedly or it's like fast change showing up here. Give me one more here for the Eight of Wands for Cancer. Yeah, new cycle wanting to show up here. It's like you already know that something's coming in here. Some of you guys could definitely have like, um, had like a detour basically with this roll clothes they want to pop out. Third eye on left eye is like basically the, uh, the high priestess. But what is this coming towards cancer? I just want to get clear on that. What is this coming towards cancer? What is this coming towards cancer? Okay, so good news want to pop out here. So it's good news. It's good energy showing up here that's coming towards you. And it looks like it's going to be a restart for someone here. So I'm going to pull up Oracle card real quick before the reading gets too long. Give me one here for Cancer. Give me just one card here for Cancer so we can close out this reading. Yeah, flexible. And to be fair, this card showed up here. I think the reading was like, it's law that you receive, which is law that you reap what you have sown. So yeah, it's like the justice card type of energy, but also it's like balance. It looks flexible. It's showing up here too. Some of you guys could have definitely been like off balance here in an area of your life. But I'm going to read the flexible card. Just like a little meaning of it here. It's card number 19. So flexible. Teachability. Open mindedness. Being adaptable without compromising what's most important. So... I'm going to read the um, prosperity message, message real quick before my camera cuts off, but it does say even when you have a clear vision of how you're going to manifest something, what it will look like, who will share in it, yeah, who will share in it and what will then be available to you, you still need to relax and open up to other possibilities. Spirit may have better, have much better plans for you. It could be a job you hadn't thought of, a new source of money, or some other opportunity that that eluded your imagination. Be flexible and remind yourself of this or something better manifests for me now. Then be willing to, to bend a little, enjoy your miraculous results. So what I got from that intuitively as reading that and then from doing a reading y'all, whatever this is that's coming, this good news that's coming is better than what you expected. Like you're not expecting whatever this is, like whatever you manifested or whatever you've been manifested is gonna be better or much like almost, um, 10 times better than what you were manifesting, if that makes sense. So it's like, um, 
whatever you've been manifest like let's just say you manifest like you want a certain type of car right and it could be something that was like kind of like within your budget or like lower than your budget or something then you get like a whole nother car that's like you would feel like it's out of your budget but really like that's what you were supposed to have that type of thing so yeah i'm gonna leave it here i hope that it resonates with you guys of course you can leave a comment below give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or insightful if you're new here Feel free to subscribe as well.